Chair Jerome Powell also responded to a question about the likelihood of a recession. Let's take a listen. In my view, the probability of a recession within the next year is not particularly elevated. And why do I say that? Aggregate demand is currently strong and most forecasters expect it to remain so. If you look at the labor market, also very strong. Conditions are tight and payroll job growth is continuing at very high levels. Household and business balance sheets are strong. And so all signs are that this is a strong economy, in, indeed uh, one that uh, will be able to uh, flourish. Well, let's get you more context on today's Fed comments. Here's Yahoo Finance's own editor-in-chief, Andy Soa. So, Andy, what were your thoughts on what came out of this press conference? Well, first of all, uh, I agree with Jay Powell on that one, very much so. I mean, and part of that, Rochelle, has to do with this being Fortress America and the fact that Russia and Ukraine, uh, their impact on our economy is not that great. We all know about oil and gas and wheat and corn, and we know about disruption to supply chain. But having said that, we can weather that. I mean, there's things we can't weather, World War III, uh, large-scale war in Europe, and let's hope it doesn't come to that. And, you know, I, I guess I would add to that that, you know, every cycle uh, for the Fed is both familiar and completely different. And I guess I would argue that this one it tends towards something different. And, and again, the Russia invasion, and we talked about this a lot today, is, is both an accelerant in terms of it being inflationary and also um, because of disrupting supply chain, which I mentioned, and also a drag on economic activity. But I think that, you know, that's what obviously caused the Fed to go from 50 basis points down to 25, um, which, you know, everyone expected after the war became, you know, came to the fore. Uh, and other than that, you know, expect, uh, expected is the word of the day. I, I think, you know, a little bit aggressive uh, when it comes to um, talking about um, tapering, which is great, I think, because I like it when we have a healthy economy and the Fed has to respond thusly. And I think to the extent that the market responded positively at the end of the day to aggressiveness um, is not a bad thing for people who are investing in U.S. equities. Andy, the Fed chair was elusive at best when talking about how this would bring down demand. Bottom line this for me, is this Fed action going to work? We saw the GDP estimate at 2.8, but will this bring down inflation and how fast? Yeah, I mean, you know, Dave, that's the, the big question. I like elusive, you know, that kind of reminds me of Walt Clay's fries, Walt Clay, Clyde Frazier, you know, talking about being elusive on the basketball. <laughs> Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah. it's it's really hard. I mean, these tools are blunt instruments and, you know, it, people are feeling inflation, but most of their feeling inflation because of gas prices. But, you know, already is that over, you know, gas prices peaked. We all know that when it comes to adjusting for historical inflation, gas prices have yet to hit an all time high. Tell that to someone in California who's paying six bucks a gallon. I know I hear you out there, California. It's true. Um, but I think the Fed is, is, you know, at the end of the day is doing the right thing. I mean, sure, they're a little bit behind here, but, you know, inflation has just become so alien to, to, to all of us, including, to be honest, uh, the, the Fed officials. And, you know, you can't help but think that the bias that, like, inflation is not a real thing is still out there. And I would argue that some of that is actually important because, technology is a huge deflationary force. And I know we've got the two things driving inflation right now are supply chain, well, three things, supply chain disruptions from COVID, that's gonna go away. The end of globalism or the break in globalism, who knows what's gonna to happen to that? And the war in Ukraine, and I hope that's gonna go away soon as well. So some of this would be, I'm not gonna say transitory, but temporary. And then technology is always driving down prices, you guys. We certainly hope a lot of consumers get to see some of that relief. Thank you so much. Yahoo Finance's own editor-in-chief, Andy Sower.